This is the run wall, visible Wankel engine. This is some of the paperwork that came with the model. And here he is himself. <laughs> Looks like a proud papa looking at the uh, little item that made his engine go round and round. Here's the completed model. One thing you notice here, the block does open up so you can take a look at the um, combustion chamber head on. And this is the one page goes to kind of tell you everything about what the parts that are on this engine. A few unusual parts. It's got a gear driven oil cooler, which I found to be quite unusual. And also it's got a compressor. A lot of the other stuff is pretty standard to uh, internal combustion engine. Uh, this model came out a around 1973 and was discontinued unfortunately after that here's another item that was included the instructions which are huge and <laughs> they i mean they're really big and it's got some here's the, what it looks like when you get done had something else interesting in here The guarantee, <laughs> I guess, it's guaranteed to be a model of a Wankel engine. On the other side, it's got the parts list and the uh, price of a part. The other interesting thing it's got here is a correction to bring the instru instructions up to date. In the instructions... Very nicely done. Both uh, uh, pictures and uh, a text description of the parts, how they go together. Let's take a look at the actual engine. Nice looking engine, rather unusual. One of the more interesting parts of this engine is down here, look right inside there, all the gear-driven stuff, gear-driven distributor shaft, the fuel pump, and also this very strange uh, gear-driven oil cooler. Very unusual. The model has a lot of nice detail on it. One thing, I don't use any grease to grease any of the bearing surfaces. I just uh, build it the way it comes out of the box. It's operated, there are two C-cell batteries here in the transmission housing. The motor, that a little electric motor makes it go round and round is right here in the starter motor housing. I did have to replace the motor, the original one. Now, remember, this model is 50 years old. The original uh, electric motor in here, uh, it was uh, seized up. The grease was like uh, resin. It was so hard. Fortunately, I was able to buy the exact motor that was in there uh, 50 years ago. They're still making that motor. The other thing which you may find with these very old models that you buy are the the fan belt and the other serpentine belts. Uh, I had to replace one. I took this one off my visible V8. And this other one luckily was in good shape. So here is what it, here is what it looks like. The other interesting thing I uh, uh, was this yellow plastic here. I don't know whether or not that was clear in the original model or if it was yellow in the original model. Something else that I omitted, it had a pair of wires that came out of the, um, the, the battery housing here that 
had light bulbs on the end of the wire that kind of plugged into these spark plugs. I didn't I didn't include that. It kind of looked pretty fake. <laughs> A pair of wires coming out of here. So I did exclude that. Another very interesting thing that I found with this model was this uh, this thing lifts lifts up and down. I really wonder if this is what the way it was in the actual engine. I don't very very strange, but there it is. There you have it. So I'm going to turn this thing on for you. It is quite loud. Um, I'm not sure. It, most of the noise seems to be coming from that electric motor. The kind of cool thing, the on-off switch is here uh, on, the, on the stick shift. Yeah, I told you it was loud. Here it is. I'm going to take a look down here in the combustion chambers. really well from time to time this model does appear on the internet I I bought this model on Etsy uh, so probably Etsy and eBay. And uh, if you just Google this visible Wankel engine made by uh, Renwall, I think you may find a couple of other ones there that are, that are for sale. So there you have it. The visible rotary engine. Seemed like a very good idea at the time. Um... But obviously, there was something that made it unable to compete with the standard piston engine. Well, I appreciate your watching. Take care. Poppy out.